Hi guys, it's Matt. Just saying a quick hello from school. Here it is behind me. Can you remember what school looks like? I bet you can. Let's take a look and see what's the same and what's a little bit different. So, we can walk into school and here's our entrance. The doors are still here and we can walk through. Everything is still the same. Apart from this wonderful artwork that we've been doing while we've been coming into school over the last couple of months. Loads of our areas are still exactly the same as they were. Some of our classrooms though might look a little bit different because we might have put the tables and chairs in different places. But as you can see, all pretty much the same. We've still got places to chill out and learn at the same time, whether that's on the floor, in the water, or outside, in our outdoor learning environments. Some of our equipment though might be put away and we might have to spend a bit more time cleaning all of the bits and pieces that we use most regularly, but that's okay. You might be in a different class too, or a different room, but we'll always make sure you're working with a member of staff who knows you and we'll try and keep contact with all of your friends from your class. We've got loads of outdoor spaces that you might recognise, like the sensory quad, but then we've also got some new and exciting areas too. So we've created loads more space for us to be outside together and to go and explore the wider world and do loads of great things. So this is our new outdoor learning environment for Cedar and Walliams, which is just fantastic. Some of us will still eat here in the dining room where we've got loads of room. Sandra's not here at the minute because uh, she's off on holiday, but we're still in here, which is great. And some people will even get the chance to eat in their classrooms as well with their friends. So that's a little bit different, but it should be really cool and good fun. Here's the hall, a massive hall. We come in here for assemblies. We also use technology for assemblies too. So we'll be able to see those from our classrooms. Our friends at home will be able to watch and join in as well. And some of us will be able to experience things in here too. The sensory room's still here as well. And we love coming in here because we can be quiet and calm and experience loads of wonderful things. I'll show you a little secret. We've also got some new things in here as well. So have a little look at this. I don't know if you can see those. Let's explore those now. Look at this. We've got a new light fan as well. It even flashes when you make a noise. A new infinity tunnel. Wow, I love that and soft plays here too. And we can still bounce and jump and run and have a great time. Oh gosh, it's still hard work. Whoa, I love this, it's great. I better just test the slide to make sure it's okay. Yeah. It still slides. One thing you might see more of in school are these things. These help us to remember to keep our hands clean so that we're not spreading germs. So when we go into rooms and we leave rooms, we can use these pumps. So if we can't wash our hands, we can put gel on them to make sure that they're nice and clean. Dave and John will still be here as well as our super caretakers. They'll be making sure that our school is okay and that it's nice and safe and ready to be open. And our fantastic team of cleaners will be on hand as well to make sure that we're all clean and ready to go. There are some parts of school that we're not gonna use though, just at the minute, because we only have a small number of children coming back. So we're not gonna use the DT room and the art room and the food technology room for a little bit um, because we don't really need to. And when the weather's nice, we're gonna spend loads of time outside. Here's our sensory garden. Have a look around with me. Our willow tunnel has grown. Look at all of the leaves on the trees. Wow. We'll still be able to come up here 
and play with our friends and run around and enjoy all of the beautiful flowers and the plants and the sounds and the smells of the sensory garden. We can still talk to our friends through the big tunnel. I think this must be one of the most beautiful parts of our school. The sensory garden is just incredible. We've still got the sensory drums. Our sensory cymbals that go. And our wonderful xylophone and it's huge. So don't forget, we've still got loads of wonderful and great things for you guys to experience and to enjoy here at St Giles. We'll still be having playtime as well in our wonderful playgrounds, but we might be playing at different times and we might all be out here with our groups, with our pods, our little classes that might feel a little bit different. So our trampoline is still here and we can do loads of stuff, which is great. And we can also, because I know loads of you love going on our swings. I'm not gonna show you what that's like because at the minute, I think they need a bit of a clean. We've also made sure that each pod has access to its own toilet that's really close. That means we'll help to keep people safe by stopping the amount of time they're gonna have to walk to different rooms. Ta-da! Beautiful, easy piece. One of the great things about St Giles is we've got loads of equipment and toys and games and objects for you to explore. One of the jobs we've got to do is tidy lots of those things away so that we can make cleaning them easier. So at the moment, we're just working through all of this stuff to keep it clean. So some of the stuff won't be in your classrooms, we'll bring it into you when you need to use them. If you need help in the loo or with your personal or intimate care, we'll be wearing equipment to keep us safe and to keep you safe, just like we always have. So we'll wear an apron and we'll wear these blue funky gloves but that's the same as it's always been. We've changed the way that we'll look after you if you get poorly while you're at school. Let me show you what things will look like. So if you start coughing or you have a temperature or we think you're not very well, you'll come into one of our waiting rooms to wait for your mum, your dad, or whoever looks after you to come and fetch you from school to make sure that you're okay. Let's go and have a quick look inside and then I'll show you what we'll look like. I'll look a little bit different in the next video clip. So, if you get poorly at school, we might have to put on our aprons, our gloves, and these really cool face masks. That's to make sure that we don't pass each other any germs. You'll come into one of our rooms, you'll be able to just sit down and chill out and wait for your parents to come to fetch you. It's me, you see, it's just a mask. We're gonna try as well to keep the swimming pool open whenever we can so that we can come here for some hydrotherapy, for some relaxation, and maybe even a bit of fun as well. But we'll let you know if you can swim and we'll tell your mums and dads so they can make sure that you've got your trunks. St Giles is still a happy and safe place to learn and to be. So that's it, that's St Giles. We're still the same, we're the same place with the same staff and we'll still take good care of you. Things will feel a bit different because we'll have to do things in a slightly different way, but we're gonna be all right. We're a great school, you are great students and your families are fantastic as well. We couldn't have got through the last 10 weeks without your help and your support. So if you are gonna start coming back to school just for a little bit over the next few weeks, we can't wait to see you. We're gonna keep you safe and we're gonna help you to have loads of fun and to learn loads of amazing new things. So take care, we will see you soon.